Hey drone enthusiasts, and of course a shout out to the uh, drone seekers, uh, Marcus Crawford here, or Idaho Sledhead as I'm known on my YouTube channel. Hey, uh, so I'm kind of making this uh, introduction part of my video at home because uh, my microphone quit working on my uh, Canon camera, which, you know, this thing's handy because it's uh, got this little windsock on here and, and you keep from getting all that wind noise. But uh, I tried a couple of different uh, patch cords and evidently it's the mic itself that's bad. So anyway, probably more information than you really needed. Uh, but what we did today is we took the uh, Phantom 4 out for a flight. We finally got a break in the weather. We've had uh, snowstorm after snowstorm lately here in uh, southwest Idaho. Uh, but we got a little bit of a break. I'm not saying it was good weather, but it was good enough to fly. And I'm just trying to get used to that uh, Phantom 4. Uh, for uh, people that are just tuning into my channel, uh, one of the missions of my channel is... Uh, to introduce drones uh, that uh, people can buy that they don't have to break the bank to get into this hobby. Uh, there's a lot of sub $500 drones that are out now. Uh, the FEMI XE S, or, yeah, X8 SE uh, and then uh, I've flown a lot the Hubson Zeno. You'll see a lot of those uh, videos on my channel and then of course I have a Mavic 2 Zoom which is in a whole other class, much more expensive drone. So I got to thinking, well, if somebody's starting out and they want to get a full featured product, uh, but they don't want to spend a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars on a drone, what is available right now uh, that somebody could buy? And I got to thinking about the Phantom 4. Uh, and uh, I paid uh, on eBay, I found a really clean example with two batteries for five hundred and ten dollars. And it has you know all of the things that one would expect from DJI 3 axis gimbal, 4K camera, uh, all kinds of uh, automated flight modes uh, so I figured it would be worth taking a look at it and uh, seeing it if it's something that uh, uh, will be of interest to people so that said we took it out for a flight the second flight today and uh, <clears throat> I got to try out uh, Tapfly and uh, we got to try out the home lock function, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, the point of interest function, which is basically circle mode, but but uh, I tested it out. You can yaw the camera uh, any direction that you want. You can turn the drone any direction. So you can have, the, have it facing into the center of the circle or facing out or anywhere in between, which is cool. And then uh, another feature that I found on there and I tried was draw mode. Uh, where basically you just draw on your screen where you want the drone to fly and it flies there. Uh, so i I uh, not saying that I've got, got it all figured out. I couldn't figure out how to how to change the speed on it. So that's something over the speed that the drone flies. So that's something I've got to work on. But uh, in any case, uh, let's roll that video and uh, let's let you take a look at it. Okay, it's giving us a red triangle in overall status. Let's see what that is. IMU warming up. Okay. It says compass is normal, so uh, I guess there's probably no reason to uh, uh, to do a compass calibration. Aircraft warming up. I noticed last time I flew this that that was uh, one of the things about this aircraft is that uh, it had a significant warm-up period. I don't know if that's normal for a Phantom 4. Uh, it's probably, I'm going to say, uh, 36 degrees uh, Fahrenheit here. So that would be, what, about 1 or 2 degrees centigrade. Uh, any of you guys that know, uh, I'd be interested uh, uh, to know if, uh, if it takes, uh, you know, takes a while for your aircraft to warm up. This has been, uh, oh gosh, probably at least a minute or so here. Yep, okay, so it took just about a... A minute and it made an IMU redundancy switch whatever that means uh, compass redundancy switch as well so I'm not sure what that means radio channel quality uh, it shows all strong interference detected uh, so it showed me that the other day too so that is a concern and I had dropouts on uh, on FPV so it alternated between poor 
and good. So not sure what's going on there. I'm gonna go ahead and format the SD card. Well, shucks. Let's get this thing. Uh, let's get this thing up in the air. And uh, heck, I'm gonna do an auto takeoff. Let's start recording first. We're recording in 4K, 30 frames per second. Okay, so we'll take it up a little bit here. Took it up about uh, 20 feet. Give the aircraft an opportunity to, uh, to look at the ground. Let's bring her back down. Spin it around here. Yeah, so it's giving me a, a proximity warning, which is good. Just wanted to get the uh, let the camera get a look at it here. Boy, this is a steady aircraft. Look at how rock steady that thing is, man. That is phenomenal. Okay, let's back it up a little. Yeah, and it just pops right back to its spot. So uh, that's a pretty good test. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do a little pull away shot here. This is a powerful drone, let me tell you. It, it just amazes me uh, flying uh, some of the lesser drones. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, this thing just really takes off. And I am just in, uh, I am in uh, double check here. I'm in P mode, I am not in sport mode even. So we're at about 100 feet. Let's, uh, let's grab a little altitude. One of the directions that I like to fly here when I'm at this spot is uh, uh, kind of uh, northwest. Uh, I, I kind of like it because uh, in the wintertime, at least, the sun is uh, behind you, and so you get some of the best uh, videos. So uh, anybody that watches my videos is going to be familiar with this scene. So <clears throat> kind of adjust the uh, camera here with the uh, rule of thirds. And uh, let's take a little flight out there. The other thing that uh, I immediately notice is that uh, you don't get the yaw with this thing. I'm going to go out to the end of this field out here. I was watching my sticks there. I was a little bit, uh, I, I was, I was do gradually doing a right-hand turn there, and I looked down at the sticks, and, and that was for sure uh, the input that I was putting in. Yeah, so we're getting uh, weak transmission distance. I uh, got a little uh, warning there. So, uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't want to push it too much. Although that's that concerns me. Uh, this drone should definitely be able to uh, fly further than that without those kind of problems. Well, we're doing pretty good now, so. That was just that one little uh, one little dropout. Okay, I'm gonna hover, turn around here, back towards us. And I think uh, it would be fun to try that line fly. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can do that tap fly. Excuse me, I said line fly. That's I think that's what they call it on the uh, on the uh, on the Hubson Zeno. So I am gonna go. I guess I need to hit forward. There we go. And hit go. Yeah, and it's descending. I should have. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop. I should have put it a little bit higher. So let's let's try that again. There we go. I put the. I I think that's probably an easy 
mistake to make with uh, with line fly. Yeah, so it looks like we're holding it about uh, 116, uh, 168 feet. So it's actually coming back to us pretty quick, about 17 miles an hour. Let's see if I can adjust yaw when we're doing this. Oh, you can, and that adjusts the line. Cool, that is awesome. Oh, that's uh, that is clearly a great way to get some uh, some smooth video because I haven't seen any props uh, in the uh, in the line of uh, sight here. Man, that is great. So here we are back uh, back just over the edge of the park again. I can uh, boy, I'd, it's it's fun looking at that drone in the air. It is uh, it's moving along pretty good. So let's let's let it go past us here a little bit. Well, I feel kind of dumb. Tap fly is something that I probably should have been messing around with uh, a lot more. That's uh, that's that is a handy little tool. Okay, let's get out of that, and it should just go into a hover. And uh, let's uh, let's turn around here. see what else we got so tripod mode I know that just slows things down home lock I believe home lock uh, should just bring it back towards the aircraft will be in free mode pull the pitch stick down and the aircraft will move towards the uh, home point so uh, cool so let's try that so it says pull the uh, Pitch stick down. Pitch stick is straight down. Yep, and it's coming right back to us. There we are. So when it gets set, says within, uh, well, it says five meters, so maybe not quite. It was slowing down. And there we are. Okay, let's do something else here. Get out of that. It says it'll hover. That's good. That's what we want it to do. Let's uh, see what else we got. We've got plenty of battery. Let's try a point of interest. So that's just telling us how to control it. So control the aircraft to fly above one position uh, set uh, and set it as the uh, POI. So let's do that. Let's just, let's just uh, set this as the POI. And then let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, back or go forward here. Let's uh, let's turn around so it's facing us. And uh, yeah, let's adjust it here just a little bit more. And let's apply. And it looks like it started. I'm gonna speed it up just a little. Yeah, I sped it up a lot. Boy, just a little goes a long ways there. So it's doing a good job of holding that point of interest. That's different than on the Mavic. The Mavic, you can actually draw a uh, square around whatever it is that you want it to look at, and it will hold the camera on that spot, which is, uh, is kind of cool. The Mavic 2, I should say. Uh, but uh, this, these kind of modes, uh, you know, I'm, 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 it, it is probably painfully obvious when you look at my videos. I'm not the most smooth stick man, so these are the kind of modes that really help me get some smooth video. So I'm going to uh, see if I can, I'm gonna pick the camera up, see if I can uh, yaw around here and get some different views. And I can. So that's kind of cool. So <clears throat> if you were trying to, uh, photograph an area and and get a, uh, a, a smooth arc uh, of an area that uh, that would be handy as heck so it looks like we've been uh, or at least we've had the camera on yeah so we've been flying for almost 14 minutes it says we have 13 minutes left of battery so that's the other advantage to uh, to this drone is that you've got pretty good battery time too yeah so so the drone is behind me and so I was being blocked from uh, transmission there I'm, I'm underneath a shelter with a steel roof so I'm sure that's what what caused that uh, that little warning we got there well it's pretty cool watching the drone uh, 
make it circle. Okay, so let's uh, let's stop that. So uh, I should be able to hit the X here, and it it'll just hover. Yep, and that is exactly right. Let's uh, get it back pointing towards us, and we're getting a little rain here, starting to get a few sprinkles. There we are down there. Okay, let's see what else we have here. I don't know what draw is. I'm gonna hit on draw. So free mode, aircraft flies along a route when commanded using the control sticks. Camera direction can be freely adjusted in flight. Obstacle avoidance is not available. Huh, that's interesting. I'm not sure what that exactly means because that's just normal flight. Oh, I, I get it. So maybe I can There we go. Yeah, so I just drew a route, and let's hit go here, and it should fly this route. Wow, that's cool. I w Boy, I wish they had that on the Mavic. You Phantom 4 guys been keeping this a secret. And yeah, it's doing about six miles an hour, and it's following the route. <laughs> Uh, that I drew on the screen with my finger. That is really cool. Let's see if it makes this corner here, huh? And it looks like it is. That's fascinating stuff. I wonder if you can adjust the speed. Yeah, you can. So it's on auto. Let's speed it up here. Well, it's not... Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Oh, there we go. Well, I need to figure out how you adjust that speed. So I can take it off auto. So it just sounds like, looks like the drone stopped there. I don't know guys, I'm not able to adjust that speed. So uh, I'll have to look uh, probably at some other people's YouTube videos to see how that's done. So let's start it up again, put it back in auto. So we're getting a low battery warning. We're, uh, we're close to home here. So I'll figure that speed thing out, but that's uh, that looks pretty, that's a pretty cool little deal here. Looks like we got about five minutes of flight time and it's given us the low battery warning. Okay, it says arrived at destination, so we are gonna go back into normal mode. And then uh, let's uh, auto land this thing. So I'm gonna get back on the camera here. Okay, I'm gonna hit return to home and uh, we, this, I took off really close to this uh, 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 this little shelter that I'm under here. Uh, so let's see how accurately this thing lands. Okay. So let's bring the camera down so we can see. So this will be an interesting little test. I'm going to stand to the side here. <clears throat> it's orienting itself. So you should uh, you should see the drone come down right behind me here. Looking good. Oh yeah, it doesn't like that. Not suitable for landing. Okay, I pushed it out a little bit. We're going to do a manual landing. The Obstacle avoidance looked at the top of this shelter and it wouldn't let it land, which is great. That's what you would want it to do. So we'll just bring it down here. Let's spin it around. Point the camera up. I love the precise control of this thing. Uh, so, uh, what I did, what I did just there was uh, land it just about a foot away from a bench, and right on the edge of the uh, concrete here. The control. This is an argument for DJI drones. The control that I had, I, I would never have tried that with uh, 
the Xeno or some of the other uh, toy drones or even I used to have one of those Mi 4K drones. That's not something I ever would have tried with that product because uh, I would have not felt uh, in control. But uh, with this Phantom 4, boy, you have a lot of confidence. It's, uh, it's rock steady. So anyway, that's the second flight with this drone. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to get everything uh, shut down. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I have, was having a great time out flying uh, drones. Uh, and hopefully you do too. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, Marcus Crawford, or Idaho Sledhead, as I'm known on my YouTube channel, out. Uh, and if you enjoy this content, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. And, gosh, hey, thank you for watching the video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.